Good morning, class, and welcome to Ballistics University. I'm the professor. Today we are going to talk on auto-loading handguns and Sir Isaac Newton. Morning again, class. Sir Isaac Newton, in his third law of physics, says that basically for every action there's an equal but opposite reaction. That's the way these pistols work. This is referred to sometimes as an automatic. It is actually an auto-loading pistol because it automatically loads itself. And it only loads itself because of the recoil produced by the round and the projectile leaving the chamber. Now, for every action, there's an equal but opposite reaction. That's also the way jets fly. The amount of thrust coming out the back of the jet engine is directly proportional to the amount of forward movement. And in fact, if I were to hold this pistol and fire it, on a surface that had a very low coefficient of friction, such as ice, and I was wearing ice skates, as I shot it, the recoil would move me backwards. Now, I wouldn't move back a lot because I weigh more than the 115 grain bullet that comes out the end of the barrel. But if you do some math, one pound is equal to 7,000 grains, and the bullet weighs 115 grains. So my weight is 1.26 million grains and I am holding an object that will fire a projectile that weighs 115 grains. So that is a ratio of about 11,000 to 1. My mass is 11,000 times more than that projectile. So you're not going to expect me to move back a lot, but it would happen. For every action, there's an opposite but equal reaction. As the projectile goes out through the barrel, this slide starts to move backwards because the energy is transferred to the slide, transferred to the grip, transferred to me. As it goes back, a lot of things happen inside there, too. As you can see here, this is the slide in the barrel from a Kimber Model 1911. The barrel has these little grooves on it that match with the grooves on the inside of the slide. So for a short period of time, this barrel and slide are locked together and move together as one. This little hinge here grabs on a pin moves the barrel down a little bit so the slide can rotate the rest of the way and eject a cartridge. A new cartridge is then picked up and this recoil spring pushes the whole unit forward again into battery. All this goes on while you feel recoil. The heavier the pistol is, the less felt recoil you will have in your hand because there's more mass that has to be moved. Now class, I'm going to shoot a couple more 9mm rounds through this torus Watch the slide as it recoils. Watch all the energy being transferred to the slide and to my hand. I'm only going to shoot it one-handed and have kind of a weak grip on it, so you'll be able to see how the gun recoils. Benjamin Franklin said, an investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. Learn how to shoot your pistols, shoot them well, shoot often, and shoot safely. One more thing, class. If you like these videos, if you think they're helpful and educational, then subscribe to us on YouTube and like us on Facebook.